Hey diecast fans and collectors, today we're going to take a look at the 2025 Hot Wheels Getaways 5 pack. I believe this would be a 2025 one because it has the bigger Hot Wheels label and I think that's how I'm going to start figuring these out. Um, so, let's see here, we've got the Rockster, looks like he's the star of the 5 pack. And they also gave us the RV there yet again. I wonder if that's just going to be an exclusive five-pack car now. This one's kind of weird, though, because it's got, like, a sticker on the tire, but I know it's not an actual real tire. It would be really cool if they actually would have made this a three-axle car instead of just a two-axle car, but they don't really make three-axle cars anymore. Shame this one didn't come out back when they did, because it would have made this thing a bit better. I almost feel like, too, maybe they should come out with this one with the, um... Uh, what are those called? The, what are them things called? Track stars? The semi-truck ones. This should come out with them in these. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, we got, looks like four fantasy cars and one real car. That's actually the one that made me buy the five pack. I found this at Walgreens. I was like, whoa. I was like, I gotta get that car for my wife, and she does very much like it. I believe it's, I don't think it's scratched. I believe it just has, like, some crud on the package. It's also got, like, some kind of smudge or something on it, too, which I wasn't going to buy it for a minute. I did see another one um, yesterday, too, at, um, I went to a few different stores yesterday. It wasn't, I don't think it was Burlington. I think it was Kohl's, actually. Yeah, me and my wife went to Kohl's, uh, Burlington, and uh, Old Navy. And surprisingly, they have some cool stuff there. Like, there's some really cool tracks at some of those stores. Old Navy didn't really have too much. But Kohl's and Burlington had quite a bit of cool stuff, actually. Like, don't sleep on those stores, guys. Sometimes they have some cool stuff in them stores. Like, you like weird RC cars and stuff like that. And... Even sometimes, like, Hot Wheels tracks that maybe you see people online have, and they're like, you're like, oh, where'd they get that massive track or whatever? And they probably got it at one of them stores because they sell some really cool tracks at them stores. I, I actually almost, I wanted to buy, like, three or four different ones yesterday. But, uh, yeah, let's get these guys out and uh, take a look at them, starting with the Nomad, and we'll work our way down to this one, hopefully in order, <laughs> if I remember the order. Okay, so here's the Nomad. Pretty cool. Look at this. I love the color. I just love these white wall cars in general. I really think next year, uh, in 2025, they should really do the white wall vehicles as like a side series in the main lines. Like do just white wall cars. I think some of these cars look fantastic with the white walls. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, it looks like, unfortunately, that is on the car, so I might get another one. Who knows? Maybe this one will turn up at 5 Below. Um, If you didn't know, 5 Below actually is selling some of the 5-pack cars in 2-packs. Uh, I, It looks to only be 5-pack cars. I'm not sure if you can get every single car in the 5-packs in the 2-packs or not. I haven't really looked at them enough to tell. But I've seen at least 2 cars out of every 5-pack this year, so... You can get a couple of the cars. I don't know, maybe they won't give you this one because this is the licensed one. This is the one they want you to buy the five-pack for. But, uh, yeah, this thing's really cool. It's just a Nomad. Very nice. I think it's been a while since we've seen this casting, too, hasn't it? Very nice. So I love it with the white walls. I love these white walls. Again, just, oh, uh, I wish they'd do more with these. I'm, I'm, they are starting to put them on more cars. Okay. Now we got the hovercraft. I have the name here. Let me let me tell you what the name is. The hoverstorm in like a really cool, like almost Christmas color. It's like red, like then it's like a kind of green, like a dark green, brown tires, orange metallic around the bead on the outside. Very cool. This one looks very Christmassy. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a vacation thing, but this one actually looks really, 
Christmassy. It's a swamp, and then on this side is a... Okay, it's swamp tours. I guess. It's like a tour for swamps. I do kind of like this casting. This is a neat casting. Pretty cool. Nice one. Okay, now we got the RV there yet. Pretty cool one. I was kind of like, why'd they put a sticker over the tire? And then I realized it's got a wheel cover. It's not a sticker. It's a wheel cover. Because you can kind of see where it stops right there. So it, they got like a wheel cover over it. That's kind of cool. Makes it kind of unique to the other ones. Pretty cool. Look at that. RV there yet. Kind of like a little Volkswagen with a camper. Pretty cool. I heart camping. It also says TS. T-A-S-A-2, -A and then it says Roni on it. Pretty cool. And then what does it say on there? Hot Wheels Speedway. So it looks like this guy's been all over the place, and he's collected stickers and put them on his car. Have they done any of these yet where they detailed the trailer? Actually, interesting enough, the other day I was looking these up because I was starting to name the cars in my folder because I found out I could do that. I could name the pictures instead of just having them be like a number of what picture I took or whatever. Um, There is a color revealer one of this guy that's like orange and has like purple splatter on it and it looks really cool. I'm going to try to get that guy one of these days. I need to figure out what series he's in. I might not even be able to get him anymore. I do think they do re-release some of the color reveal cars though, in like the same series. Some things are kind of hard to keep track of. Okay, now we have the Rockster. I love the Rockster. It's like a knockoff Hummer. It's really cool. Uh, knockoff Hummer H2. Pretty cool. It's like a gold color. It's almost like the same gold they use for that uh, that special gold car Hot Wheels comes out with every year that I guess in other countries is like a mail-in thing. And uh, if you live in a state that has a Myers, usually you can find those at Myers like almost all the time. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Look at this guy. The Rockster. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Gold, and then it's got trees on the side of it. A background, maybe a Yellowstone Park or something painted on there. What does it say on the front? Overland, it says on the front. And it says Hot Wheels on the back. This is a pretty cool one. I like this one. I'm glad they're starting to make this guy a little bit more. I like the Rockster. We've seen it in a five-pack last year, and now it's back again. Okay, and then we got the Cockney Cab, and it looks like it's a car show. Traveling car show, 66. I don't know if that means this is the car for the show, or this thing takes you to car shows exclusively. I, I don't know what that means. We don't have... If that is a thing that they have taxis that specifically take you to car shows, that is not something we have where I live, so... I've never even heard of that. If, if that does exist, uh, let me know. Kind of cool if it does. Yeah, pretty cool. Cockney cab. The window's a little bit scratched, but that's kind of how these chrome guys get. You can, when you get those large chrome panels, they can get scratched pretty good. Pretty cool. I like the color of this one. I really do. It's a neat color. It does look like something... It gives me vibes of, like, Flo's V8 Cafe from Cars. Like, something you'd see in there. Like, if it was in the Cars world and it was a character, it'd be there just hanging out or whatever. You know? But that's a pretty cool five-pack. Not bad. I don't know if we're going to find any more five-packs. Because uh, I thought I found them all. But I did see a lot of uh, the ones I have found yesterday at uh, Kohl's. Right now, I, I think I've even seen two or three of these, so I think I might be caught up on five packs for a little bit here. But, um, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's pretty cool. It got a nice assortment of colors, and, I mean, it's only got one, uh, one, uh, 
real licensed vehicle, but the the fantasy ones aren't bad. I I like the colors of them, especially like I love the Rockster. I like this guy. I like this guy, and this one's kind of cool too. That one's a little bit of a weird color. That one kind of looks more like a Christmas thing. I think maybe they should have made this guy like like brown and green. Maybe it would have looked a little bit better, but. I don't want to look too much like him, so I know why they probably... Well, these two kind of look similar, so I guess it kind of could have did that. And I remember that one year they made that one five-pack that had all black and white cars. That was still such a cool five-pack, and I wish they'd make one of those every year. I loved that black and white five-pack. That was so cool. Then the Hot Wheels team one was kind of cool, too. It was kind of weird they put a treasure hunt in there, but... yeah, There's a lot of those at Dollar Trees, too, if you guys want to get that five-pack with the Hot Wheels team with the treasure hunt in it. There's a lot of those at Dollar Tree if you don't have one yet. Those are mostly, like, a peg warmer five-pack, but if you don't have one, check Dollar Tree because they're probably there. They might even be at any store you go into, but <laughs> I think most of them got given to the Dollar Trees for Christmas. But, um, yeah, pretty cool five-pack. Um, definitely recommend picking it up. It's pretty cool one. Like I said, I like the colors and the castings. My favorite one here, I would say, is probably the Rockster. My wife's would be this one. I, this is a really close one. Like, it's almost not even a competition, like, between these two. This one is very close to almost winning over this guy. It's just I love the Rockster so much. I've always liked Hummers, and this is pretty cool, and I love the, like, brushed gold or bronze. I'd say this is more like bronze than gold, but... It might be gold, too. I'd have to put it up next to one of the gold cars, but pretty sure it's a bit darker. I think it's more like a brushed bronze. But, uh, yeah, there's the five-pack. Pretty cool five-pack. Hot Wheels Getaway is the second one we've seen now in that series. I wonder if we're going to get a, a RV there yet in all of them because so far each one has had an RV there yet. The other one had one, and now this one has one. So maybe that's just going to become a car for these five-packs. I don't know. But uh yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Let me know which car you like. Bye.